Uh, it's just that I'm, I'm naturally uh, quiet and a recluse. I'm able to do stuff, but I naturally just, I'm a kind of a hermit, you know. But you can't be a hermit if you're standing up doing what I do, you know. It's very hard to be anonymous when you're six foot tall and you know, mad looking and you do mad shit all the time, <laughs> you know. Paganism today is seen quite often as a uh, earth-based spirituality. It differs from organised religions in the sense that it's not actually a religion in the first place. There's no hierarchy, there's no uh, book of law. The whole path of paganism, which is free thinking, free spirituality, uh, it's already very well established. It's just not uh, coordinated in a hierarchy with a single controller. There is no king druid or king pagan. The path of the, the Drish, Leon Dre, the spiritual path of self-transformation, moving into your higher awareness. The oral tradition that would be used amongst the, the Dree here in Ireland and by others as well across the world, uh, personalises the message. So as opposed to telling you what to think or how to think, uh, it might show you th things to look at, uh, ways of looking at them, and then you find your own way of connecting with your higher self. I've, I've set up this Druid School here in, in Castlery in County Roscommon with a view to having a secure venue where I can host gatherings and uh, facilitate teachings. We do weekend workshops here, we do counselling, we do hand fastings, baby namings and uh, we have uh, developed a talk. It's a high banked uh, ceremony enclosure with a, an opening to the east, it takes in the equinox sunrise. And we use this for ceremonies. Effectively, it would be an environment where there is a degree of uh, control. Having got our own place here in Roscommon with 16 acres, we've quite a few uh, parts of the school developed and more being developed as we go. Uh, we're building a, a resource from which we can teach. In my hand here, I have a, a three-leaf clover. You notice I didn't say shamrock, which is very common throughout Ireland. The, the whole of our torque is carpeted with three-leaf clovers, the red and the white clover. A uh, long time ago, a certain individual made a big do out of this and uh, adapted it to fit his religion. The reason he had to use three in his religion was that's what the natives were used to. They were used to the notion of the three realms and the three cauldrons. But they're not the real shamrock. The shamrock that our Taoiseach every year gives to the American president was originally from Morocco. It's quite a good joke, I reckon. When I got to the, uh, the age of 18, and uh, believe it or not, I left the army at the age of 18, uh, I bought myself some astrology books. By studying and working with astrology, you begin to see the flow of uh, currents of energy. And I began to practice what I was uh, learning and teaching myself in the public arena, you might say. And from that, I began to lead workshops. After a while, I began, people started calling me a druid and recognising what I was doing as magical and very useful for their own self-development. When you walk a path of self-awareness, uh, you also have to be aware of outside of yourself. And you have to listen to the subtle messages that come to you. And one such message was given to me quite clearly. <laughs> There's a donkey laughing at me. There's another good message. <laughs> One such message was given to me when I attempted to move this Scotch pine. This is a gift from my mother. And I was thinking to relocate it about 20 foot behind you. And I grabbed the bag to try and move it and the bag dissolved in my hand. So I understand this tree doesn't want to be moved. Uh, by working with the sidereal calendar, which uses the stars in the zodiac and the position of the sun in rel relation to those stars, uh, this is natural time. So we would say that if you're, if you're at Newgrange and you're there at the winter solstice and you're looking towards the sunrise and you're aware that this temple was sacred to the good god Dagda, then you're actually aligning with the ancestors. However, if you're there on the wrong day, which happens because... Uh, you're working with the Catholic calendar as opposed to 
where the sun is actually on the shortest day, uh, you know, you're, you're calling on somebody who's maybe not there. The tradition we would practice uh, would be based upon some very simple concepts such as the three realms, the sky above, the land we stand upon, and the sea, or the underground streams, on Spare, on Talov, on Farige, and the three cauldrons within us. This would be on Quira Sus, on Quira Ernme, on Quira Gardiat. These are actually seen, the, the three cauldrons on Quira would be seen, if you imagine a skeletal form, in this lower portion here, the hips, which contains a cauldron shape. You could put a cauldron in there. The rib cage is another shape, but it's upside down. And the, the crown, the, the cranium, is another cauldron type shape. The concept of natural time, whereas the past is known about, the future is also known about, but we live in the current now. You suddenly have uh, the core of these three concepts of the three realms, the three cauldrons and three times. This is the, uh, the system that we would use to relate and understand things by. By opening yourselves to the energies of the universe and to the energies of the land and here and now, uh, you can align with it as opposed to try to control it.